Hey everyone, this is the fourth video in our series on hypnotic age regression or regression to cause. And we're talking in this video about repatterning and relearning. So what do you do once you have completed the first three steps, which get you to ab reaction or dipping, check the prior videos, look in the description under this video if you need to know where you are and you need to start at the beginning. But what do we do after we discharge all that negative right. emotion, Mike? And again, Chris nailed it by saying all that negative emotion, you have to zero it. So now we have the negative emotion gone, but we want to rewrite the event, which is essentially what repatterning, relearning, or uh, re-imprinting, whatever you want to call it is. So let's say the person uh, was bullied as a kid. That's, That's a, a good classic example. example. Mm -hmm. This is the one I ran on you myself. You were bullied as a kid. Uh, horrendously. Oh, right. Yeah. So was I. <laughs> I know. And then we got into British <laughs> yeah. Jiu-Jitsu and everything changed, but that's, that's right. a different story. So Okay, anyway. so you're bullied yeah. and you're going through this regression to cause experience. You've cleared up all the negative emotions about being bullied. Right. It doesn't bother you anymore, but you still want to make your life even more awesome. So what do we do now? Well, now we want to realize that we discharge the negative emotion, but now we have to rationalize it. We've got to make it rational for our conscious mind and uh, the thinking part of our brain, the cognitive part. So now we can rerun the event while in trance with a totally different outcome. So when Steve Millen had me on the ground, was choking me with the scarf, this time I slipped my hand in between, reverse it on him and choke him. Now, what happens is you, you beat the up, bully. You beat the bully. <laughs> you wind up with parallel memories when you do this. You have two memories now. The other one's still there. But because you've discharged the negative emotion from it, it's ineffective. It, it can't do anything to hurt you anymore. And your brain will gravitate to the new memory where you are empowered. So that's one great way of okay, doing so it. Okay, so we are going to give some more examples. But just to recap here, you've essentially created a situation where in hypnosis, you've depotentiated all the negative emotion related to the real event that Mike was bullied and this guy used to beat him up. Mm -hmm. And after that's been zeroed, he's now built this parallel memory of well, in his imagination, he beat the bully. And he knows that that's just an imagined thing. You know but that that wasn't real. your brain real. cannot tell the difference mm -hmm. between a real and a vividly imagined experience. So you basically don't care anymore and you see the imagined experience as being real enough that it makes you feel great about yourself. Correct. All right, so that's the bullying example. Um, let's do another. What would be another good example? Let's say well, someone with a, well, the spider phobia. The spider phobia, about. whatever. So we clear the initial sensitizing event abreact it, whatever, get rid of every speck of negative mm -hmm. energy behind that. And then we're just using DSIH, which is direct suggestion in hypnosis. All you have to do is give a lot of positive suggestions now. And you say, and you've overcome this old thing that used to bother you. Spiders now are, are funny little things and they don't affect you in the slightest. Mm -hmm. They're actually keeping your house free of, you know, evil little insects. And you realize now that you survived this and you're a winner and you, a lot of ego strengthening stuff. And you got past this and now your life is excellent without that fear you used to have that moving into into the past tense. Secret little insider tip here, when you're doing your interview with the client and they tell you they've got a spider phobia and you say, how do you wanna feel? They're gonna give you the clues to create those direct suggestions, right? Right, they might say, I just wanna feel calm when I see a spider. Uh, so then you can use that in your in your actual wording. Makes and it easy. You're going to future pace it, but we'll get to that later. But you use that very word they've given you. And you feel calm now when you think of that memory because you overcame that spider and he was harmless to you. So that is video four in our series of regression to cause or hypnotic age regression, as some people call it, doesn't really matter what you call it. We're moving on to video five, which is all about checking your work. So make sure you refer to the links in the description or we'll use the little YouTube cards, can't remember where they show up in the video here, usually at the top right somewhere. But you can make sure you go through the whole series so you learn everything that we've got to say about this awesome technique. Yes. Learn from the master himself, Mike Mandel. I'm Chris Thompson. We are from Mike Mandel Hypnosis. You can check out our full training, the Mike Mandel Hypnosis. Academy, also found in the link below this video in the description. Subscribe to our channel, ring that bell so you'll always be notified of our latest videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, and good night.